iPhone 13 review, music video with Marsha Balski. Take one. Apple's come out with the iPhone 13. Now it's a new era of annoying food photography. I decided to shoot a music video with mostly iPhone 13 models in the new cinematic mode because, well, Apple said it looked amazing and that it's Hollywood in your pocket. Yeah, except this is not ready for Hollywood. The cameras are huge, so you can really capture the details of your nasty at home. Velveeta grilled cheese that no one wants to see. Oh, a new iPhone every year, is that sustainable? The people are shaking in fear, is it a camera or a phone? That's a good question. If you looked around the studio that we shot this music video in, you'd think the new iPhone 13 models could sub in for professional cameras. All these phones have brand new multiple camera systems, and along with them, they have a new cinematic mode. As you can see, it's like portrait mode for video. It adds a bokeh or blur effect to the stuff around your subject. You can lock the focus on one thing and it will follow it, or you can manually tap on what you want to be in focus. You can do this during or after your shoot. That all works quite well. It's a great idea and a cool trick to make everyone a film director. That is if film directors randomly shot things with blur all over it. The feature really feels like it's in beta and not quite ready for Hollywood. What happened to her hair? Or my fingers? In our studio here, it struggled with lighting conditions, especially when I used the telephoto lens on the iPhone 13 Pro. So we didn't see much blur. And to be fair, the iPhone did beat the Samsung Galaxy S21 similar feature in this space. Look at that blur on the paper. But even when we took the phone outside to shoot more, you can see what often happened. It struggled to calculate where one object started or another ended. Unlike a real camera, this is using software to map out the elements of the shot. An Apple spokeswoman said cinematic mode is a breakthrough innovation that will keep getting better over time. Thankfully, you can go back after the fact and refocus on certain objects and adjust the level of blur. You can even remove the entire effect by tapping here. On top of those issues, you can only record in 1080p in this mode. And while I disabled HDR because it doesn't work great when editing in Adobe Premiere software, our footage still ended up recording in HDR. Apple says that this will be addressed in a software update. So yeah, not quite a $7,000 Sony FS7 professional camera, which shoots video that looks like this. The battery lasts longer on the Pro cause the dang thing is huge. It's really big. Not sure that's how technology works, but I assume. So in the event of some apocalyptic nightmare and you're stranded and all alone, you have almost two full days to film the zombies on your phone. I was most interested in testing the cinematic mode for this video, and it clearly wasn't great. But other than that, you'll be impressed with these new phones, especially if you're coming from an iPhone 11 or earlier. The designs and hardware look and feel great, and the iPhone Pro 13 models have new ProMotion displays that are much smoother to scroll or swipe on. Battery life was really the most impressive to me. Even on this day where I recorded video for hours and hours, they all kept up. A new iPhone so here's what's notable. Multiple layers of nanometer scale metallic ceramics. Applied across the surface for a stunning and very durable finish. That just means there's a blue model. And the screens can track and they can zoom and they can follow and they can bloom. A budding film director's career You'll just need lighting, tech, and crew. Yet even with all that, which I had here, your cinematic video probably won't look better. But your photos, those will look better. All the cameras have new sensors, which take better shots in low light conditions. My favorite trick, the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max let you take super close up macro photos with the new ultra wide lens. New iPhone every year with incremental changes. Larger displays and incredible design. Just buy a new one every three to four years. 
like me. They'll get you with those updates, though. Yeah, except maybe one of those updates will make cinematic mode everything I want it to be. 